is up you guys welcome back to another one if you went new to the channel i own gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2022 infinity qx 55 courtesy of faulkner infinity in mechanicsburg pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so i am in this one today because this is all new for the 2022 model year of course the qx 55 now replacing the outgoing qx 50 this thing is now 1.6 inches longer than the previous generation all-wheel drive is now standard as well whereas it used to be optional it's 40 pounds lighter than the qx 50 as well well so quite a bit has changed and of course i'll go over all of that within this video for you guys we'll be testing out acceleration braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all of that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so there will be a few different trim levels for the 2022 qx first one being lux starting at forty six thousand five hundred dollars essential starting at fifty one thousand six hundred and lastly sensory which is the one we have today starting at fifty seven thousand fifty dollars but regardless of trim level that you go with the power plant on the qx 55 will be the same powering this beast is a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder putting out 268 horsepower at 5600 rpm RPM, 280 pound-feet of torque coming in at 1600 rpm power sent to all four wheels through a cvt with paddle shifters which you guys know we will be testing out in a little bit here zero to 60 time comes in at approximately 6.4 seconds with mpg numbers coming in at 22 in the city 28 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel but so that before we do any kind of paddle shift or acceleration test in the qx 55 i did want to mention there are some drive modes for this one and so that button is located just behind the shifter it is labeled the mode or d mode of course but driving modes will include eco standard sport and personal where you can customize it to your own liking essentially adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response and the steering sensitivity as well but now having got all that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway here let's put this thing to the test and let's first test out the paddle shifters i just want to see how quickly they are going to react for us here keep in mind this is a cvt by the way this is an excellent turning radius well done qx 55 i always do a turn right there just to test out that turning radius and this one is among the best that was brilliant but anyways let's go ahead and put this thing to the test let's test out the paddle shifters it is a cvt so it's simulated shifting but still let's see how quickly these paddle shifters are going to react for us here all right we are in first gear in three two one they're actually pretty darn quick to be honest i mean again it's a cvt but if you're gonna use the paddle shifters they're kind of fun i don't mind it and i kind of really pinned me into the back of the seat there with the acceleration but i don't want that to be the acceleration test because i wasn't really giving it everything i could have but anyways let's now go ahead and get back full control to the qx 55 and by the way there is a manual shift mode you just slide the shifter back one more time and then i'm going to hit that again and, and now the qx 55 is back full control and let's give this thing one more shot Let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed. In three, two, one. We're gonna pass the horses. This is fun. This is actually kind of fun. This is dang quick. If I'm being quite honest, really surprised me because this is a smaller SUV and this thing is dang quick. Like really no issues with merging onto the highway whatsoever that was fun i really liked it anyways to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so up front you will find 13 inch ventilated front discs in the back 12.1 inch solid rear discs as far as the braking feel goes as i just pull up to a stop sign here it is perfectly fine there is no brake pedal delay or anything like that so absolutely no issues when it comes to the braking touching on suspension and handling now up front you're going to get a mcpherson strut front suspension in the back independent multi-link rear suspension front and rear stabilizer bars as far as ride quality goes it might be one of the first things i noticed when i got in this one it's actually dang good it kind of surprised me a lot of times smaller suvs you don't get that ride quality but with this one with the qx 55 you do definitely absorbing pennsylvania's road imperfections quite nicely so 
really no issues there whatsoever. As far as steering feel goes, again, it is definitely adjustable with the driving modes. I do have it in sport driving mode right now, so it is a heavier feel to it. Wouldn't have minded quite honestly if it was a bit heavier, but still, it is a very noticeable difference when you adjust the drive modes when it comes to that steering feel. So a little something for everyone, I guess you could say there. As far as cabin noise goes, I love the engine sound when you really hit the gas or really when you don't really hit the gas. There is still a very nice engine sound to the QX55, so I'm a huge fan of that. But as far as exterior wind noise coming into the cabin, there's nothing. There's really no exterior wind noise. So it is a very serene cabin with the exception of that engine sound, which I absolutely love. So 100% on point when it comes to cabin noise. And by the way, that's due in part because there is an acoustic front windshield and acoustic front side glass actually for every single trim level of the QX55. So that actually plays a huge part in the lack of exterior wind noise coming into the cabin. So not every vehicle gets the side glass. A lot of vehicles will get the front windshield, but it's very rare that you'll see the acoustic front side glass. So I'm a big fan of that. But then touching on visibility, and this was the one thing I was kind of worried about because of its amazing shape on the back end. We'll get to the exterior here in a second because it looks dang good. But because of that shape, visibility could be better. I'll just put it that way. And again, it might be something that you'll get used to because a lot of cars like the Camaro, like the 370Z, it's something that you kind of have to deal with at first, but then you get used to it and it's not a big issue. So I'm thinking that might be the same thing with the QX55 here, because again, visibility isn't the best when you compare it to some of the competitors. And then that's just because of the shape though. So it's to be expected. I'll just put it that way. But in addition to that, there is a head up display that comes standard on the sensory that we have today. It is going to be optional for the essential so currently right now i am looking at the speed limit of the road i am on i am looking at my current speed and there's going to be displayed up there some safety features at any given time as well so that is definitely a huge perk helps me keep my eyes on the road so i can better enjoy the drive because this is actually a very enjoyable drive here in the qx55 but that about rounds up the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Infiniti QX55. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 Infiniti QX55 finished in slate gray. Love this exterior color on this one, I gotta be honest, but let's go ahead and start up front of the QX55 here. There is a very large front grille with chrome surrounds and a massive Infiniti logo front and center. This front grille design actually is pretty darn cool. The grille itself is kind of finished in like a satin aluminum trim. Um, it looks really, really good in my personal opinion. I love the finish to it, but anyways. Also another thing I really like on the front end of the QX55 is the front lip is actually body colored. A lot of SUVs these days are going with a matte black front lip for whatever reason. It just doesn't look anywhere near as good as the body colored front lips like the QX55 currently has here. So big fan of that. But anyways, to the sides, LED headlights do come standard on the QX55. And of course they will come with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out at night, those headlights will turn on automatically for you there. Signature LED daytime running lights also coming standard integrated LED fog lights down below. Yes, they are LEDs as well. Absolutely love that. Also, wanted to mention the sensory trim is actually going to add that cube design in the LED headlights. So it is gonna differ from the other two trim levels on the QX55. So the headlight design we are looking at right now is specific to the sensory trim level. So I wanted to mention that. And also, the sensory trim level is going to give you an adaptive front lighting system. And this is huge for me because, meaning when you're going around a bend at night and it's dark out, those headlights are going to swivel based on the direction of your steering angle. Better help illuminating what is around that bend so you're less likely to hit a deer or a possum or even a human walking at night or whatever. So that is a big safety feature right there in itself. Also to the bottom corners there, there are front air curtains helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination. So it's going to assist with aerodynamics there as well. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the side of the QX55. And so here is where it really gets good because this side profile looks dang good in my opinion. But let's go ahead and start up top of the QX55 here. Roof rails do come standard for every single trim level across the board. Also chrome window surrounds do come standard, rear privacy glass, but also look at that front fender. There is some fender accenting up there, which looks pretty darn good with some chrome trim accents, which kind of tie in very well with the chrome window surrounds, I guess you could say. 
Body colored power adjustable side mirrors do come standard. They will be heated for the essential and sensory trims. Reverse tilt down feature for those same trim levels again. And LED integrated turn signals will come standard on the QX55 as well. So big fan of that. Also like the chrome accents on the door handles and that actually comes with LED welcome lights. So when you unlock this one at night, that will project some LED lighting onto the ground so you don't go stepping in any puddles perhaps. So that is a pretty cool feature there as well. And then taking a look at the wheel configuration, it is actually going to be the same size across the board. 20 inch dark painted machine finished alloys coming standard on every single trim level of this one. But that pretty much rounds out the side. It's a dang good looking side profile to this one, if I'm being honest. And most of that is because of the back end. So let's go ahead and take a look now at the back of the QX55. So this is where it really gets good. Up top, you will find a body colored shark fin antenna. Just below that, gloss black rear spoiler with an integrated brake light, rear window wiper, of course, and LED taillights do come standard on this one and it is a very good looking design. Love the look of that. Also infinity lettering spelled out horizontally of course. You do have the all wheel drive and QX55 badging found on that rear lift gate as well. And then just below it all you will find some body colored accenting towards the bottom there along with the rear diffuser and dual exhaust outlets with satin chrome tips. So I do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip. So now since we are around back of the QX55, when it comes to opening that rear lift gate, it is a power lift gate for every single trim level across the board. So you gotta love that. And you will actually get a hands-free one if you go with the sensory trim level that we have today. But there is a button on the key fob. There is also a button by the driver's left knee. And the coolest way is the hidden button within the Infinity logo. You almost can't even tell that it's there but it's there and that is pretty cool that's the way i would probably use but anyways once opened up cargo capacity comes in at 26.9 cubic feet if that was not enough space there of course is a 60 40 split meaning the rear seats do fold down and was quite easy to fold them down there's actually levers within the cargo area to do that but that bumps that up to 54.1 cubic feet so good bit of space for what it is back there also in the cargo area, there is a 12 volt power outlet back there. There are tie down anchors, there are grocery bag hooks, and my favorite part, there's actually a decent amount of in-floor storage underneath of that cargo floor there as well. You typically don't get that with SUVs these days. I feel like no matter what I've been testing lately, it's been like a spare tire or fix a flat, but in this one, you got some in-floor storage. So I'm definitely a big fan of that. But now let's go ahead and make our way up to the rear leg room. That is gonna come in at 38.7 inches. So for reference, I mean even six feet tall this is how much space i had in the rear seats there did want to also mention though for those rear passengers there are reclining rear seats which is pretty nice rear center armrest with cup holders and there is a little bit of storage perhaps to put your cell phone so you can watch a youtube video from gold pony perhaps i don't know but that's pretty cool that that's there rear ventilation does come standard and by the way tri-zone climate control coming with the sensory trim level only so those rear passengers can actually set their own temperature back there that is different from the front passenger. So I definitely thought that was pretty cool. Front seat back map pockets do come standard as well. There's a 12 volt power outlet along with the USB charging port back there as well. Although we'll say I wouldn't have minded seeing some rear window sunshades or perhaps some rear heated seats back there, which I did not find unfortunately. But all in all, very nice place to be back there in the rear seats. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the front seating. Leatherette seating is going to come with the Lux. However, essential and sensory trims are going to give you full leather seating. Eight-way power adjustable driver's seat with two-way power lumbar is going to come standard on this one. Memory settings for up to two different drivers will come with the essential and sensory trim levels. Those two trims will also give you heated and ventilated seats then as well. And overall, another very, very big plus for the QX55 was the seat comfort. And perhaps that was because the two-way power lumbar support was amazing. A lot of times it doesn't adjust all that much, but in the QX55, it adjusts a good bit. So definitely no issues with the seat comfort. I could easily see myself taking this thing on a long road trip without a doubt. So very nice seat comfort 
in the QX55. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped for every single trim level. It will be heated for the essential and sensory trims and it will be power adjustable for the essential and sensory trim levels as well. The overall steering wheel was just fine. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup. All of your buttons are actually located on one side of the key here. So you got lock, unlock the button to pop the rear hatch and that circular button is going to be remote start which comes standard across the board along with a push button start. So actually, all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot of the brake and press that silver engine start button located just to the left of the shifter there. And so then once started up, tachometer is all the way to your left, speedometer is on your right. There's a decent sized digital display front and center to control what is on that. Simply use the steering wheel mounted controls on the right side of the steering wheel there. That'll give you plenty of different information like your average miles per gallon, when you need your next oil change or some safety features features up there as well. Of course, trip A, trip B, how many miles you have left until you hit empty outside temperature, the list goes on. So pretty much everything you could possibly want up on the digital portion of the gauges there. But now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. Power moonroof actually comes standard every single trim level. You gotta love that. Overhead sunglass holder also coming standard up there. Auto dimming rear view mirror with home link controls coming standard i love that usually the home link controls are found on upper trim levels of even other luxury manufacturers but it does come standard here on the qx55 it's a big win there dual zone climate control coming standard tri zone climate control coming with the sensory that we have today i already mentioned that to you guys ambient lighting coming with the sensory trim level as well and overall when it comes to overall interior quality i gotta be honest it's a win for most of it but there are some little things that bother me ever so slightly for example everything around the shifter here is finished in a matte gray or matte black plastic, which could have been finished in aluminum or carbon fiber, or even if they wanted to save some money, they could have finished this in maybe a design, a, some kind of plastic design, like some diamond patterns or something like that. I don't know, something. But the matte black plastic, that's something you find in lower budget cars, so it should not be here in the QX55 in my personal opinion. But other than that, I don't mind it, it's definitely very nice. I love this texturized finish that you can find on the doors that continues above the passenger side glove box there. That's a huge win for me. There's some aluminum trim, a lot of soft touch materials on the doors as well as just above the passenger side glove box. So for the most part, it's a very big win in this thing. So a lot of very high end finishes. It's just they could have finished a little better around the shifter. But speaking of in front of the shifter, you have a little bit of cargo space, USB charging port, 12 volt power outlet, phone charging port, also dual cup holders in front of the shifter then as well. Lecture mechanical parking brake just behind the shifter and a decent amount, a very decent amount actually of storage within the center armrest along with the USB charging port within there as well. So overall, very nice interior quality without a doubt. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the tech displays. Yes, that is plural. You have two screens here. And so I will mention they are both touch screens. So that is pretty darn cool. And you can control what is on that bottom screen also by using the steering wheel mounted controls as well. So also a big win there. But Bluetooth audio streaming does come standard. Android auto wireless. Apple CarPlay, all succumbing standard. That's a big win there. Factory navigation system coming with the essential and sensory trim levels. Of course, you can check out your climate control up there and your radio information as well. And so when it comes to the sound systems here on the QX55, six speakers is going to come with the Lux. However, if you go with either the essential or sensory trims, you will get a 16 speaker Bose sound system. So therefore, that is the one we have here today. Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see we got playing today and Let's test out the clarity of this one. Love it. There was a ton of bass, crystal clear. I actually had a Bose sound system at my old Infiniti G35. It never failed me, never had any issues. Loved that one too. So 16 speakers in a car of, or a vehicle of this size. It's absolutely amazing, let me tell you guys. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen is when you do put the QX55 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board and actually a surround view monitor as well. If you were to go with the essential or sensory trim level, so that's going to be what is on the right there. So that is pretty cool. But anyways, 
as always, that is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, front side, side curtain airbags do come standard. Also driver and passenger knee airbags as well. That definitely doesn't always come standard on vehicles out there. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard across the board, a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert, forward collision warning system, autonomous emergency braking with pedestrian detection, lane departure warning and reverse automatic braking as well that is a ton of advanced safety features coming standard i love that in addition to that though the sensory trim level is going to also add a blind spot intervention system lane departure prevention and traffic sign recognition as well and so overall when it comes to my final thoughts here of the qx55 i love the back end design of this one really the whole design the whole exterior design is really really good but the back end design really makes it what it is and quite honestly i would easily put up with a little less than expected visibility for this particular design it looks great also pretty good interior quality as well minus that one thing i mentioned to you guys but other than that a lot of high-end finishes in the interior so that is good great ride quality great lack of exterior wind noise coming into the cabin you usually don't find it as good as you get it here in the qx55 so i'm a huge fan of that as far as room for improvement goes the cvt i hate cvts i'm really not a fan because it kind of makes the drive a little more emotionless dual infotainment screens it might be something i'll get used to i'm just not used to it i guess it's just something different i think infinity is the only one that still does that right now at this point all the other manufacturers are going with one single larger display screen like a 12.3 inch or whatever but also my last room for improvement would be a full digital gauge cluster a lot of other manufacturers are doing that right now like mercedes-benz like bmw like hyundai kia mitsubishi the list goes on so full digital gauge cluster would look pretty darn cool up there as well but that is about it for this one you guys let me know what you guys think of the qx55 in the comment section below feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you wanted to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to youtube be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold